Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Jack Daw and this is a one-off look at Two Point Campus's Space Academy, which released today. So what I wanted to show you all is the new rooms we have available and some of the new items and also the Time Travel Club, which you might have just seen pop up in the middle. So we've got a basic campus set up here in one of the new locations, actually. I I'm shame I can't actually zoom out to show you a bit more. But we have got a lovely rocket in this space. I say space in this new location. Now, Look at that bad boy. It's moving. Strictly an anti so let's go room by room. Now, if the My course isn't actually in show at present, I'll make sure I add in a little caption so you can see so what the actual like course looks like when they're doing, doing the job. I'd recommend so this first room is the anti-gravity room bells. or anti-gravity chamber. And you got yourself now, the minimum spec for this course, room was six by nine. So it's quite a large room, as you can see. If you want to get really and if we actually have a look at the rooms itself, I have just unlocked everything just to make it simple no to make this video. In the yard. But you can see straight away, yeah, 6x9, but the only requirement is the actual simulator itself. The so I have put some extra Ouch. things in the room just to show you a little bit more about it. So you've got the Astro Repetator, which gives you a plus six learning buff. We've also got the Bleep Machine, plus two learning. That's quite cool, actually. Nice little computer you got there. And also, we got the space rack suit, and again, a plus four learning power. So actually, you know, you could probably buff up the learning power quite some on that on this one itself. So moving on to the next room we have here is the battle uh, battle space. So it's quite a small room this. It is actually a minimum spec was 4x4, four four, but I'll be very honest, I couldn't fit everything it kind of need what I wanted to put in to show off the room. Again, the only thing which was required for this room, let me show you quickly on that, is the, the actual ring itself. So all of this again were just kind of little add-ons you can put in, but I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't fit it in on the minimum what it was required. So I thought you'd just give that one extra. So this is a five by four room, and it gives that a little bit extra space. So in here we've got a new space knight suit armor, which is looking pretty cool. Again, it's just attractive enough; does give no boost. We've got the space knight station, which does give a learning power boost of six percent. We've got the Space Combat Target, gives a plus 2%. And finally, you've got the Space Knight Polisher, which gives a plus 4 learning power. So again, all in all, a nice little room you can bring, nip away somewhere nice and neatly in the corner. So the next room we are moving on to, which is in focus at the minute, is the command room. Now on this room, again, it is a six by six minimum room. And this again is six by six. You can see how tight it is. If I go into a top-down angle, you can't really fit much in here at all. But just to show you what we've got, oh, it is in motion. So let's have a quick look at what this is. I know it was on some of the trailers, what they've launched, but let me just show you. So it gives them a nice little, it's like a simulator of such, isn't it? I like the fact that all the other classmates were kind of cheering them on. Maybe they're getting involved in what's actually being shot at as well. That looks like a simulator. I'll, I'll probably enjoy going on. 
There we go. So while that's getting on, you can see we've got a couple of computers in this room, one left and right. I couldn't put them in the middle again because it was just a bit too tight of space. Now the computers do give, let me just double check for you. They go plus 4% learning power boost, which isn't too bad. We've got the command panels, which again is just for attractiveness. And we've got these in the corner, which again gives a, so it's a satellite, which gives a plus six learning power. So I think it looks quite nice, this room. I do like this room. It does remind me of, was it Star Trek? I do, oh, I miss a bit of Star Trek. So moving on to the next room. Now this is the crematorium. So with this room again, it only, it didn't require much information in here. It's a six by four room, and again, it only requires this basic machine itself. And what perfect timing, we've got a teacher coming in with some of our lovely new students. So learning cheesy Moongri, 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 I would say that is. And we've got a giant slug. I'm sure the slug is happy. So again, I think this has been shown off in some of the trailers. But just to show you kind of what this does. So I'm not sure if that's extracting or feeding. It dreads to think a little bit. Got a mechanic coming to fix it at the same time. I'm sure the slug doesn't mind. So while that's getting on, over here again we have got some of the other items for the rooms. Again, it is a quite a tight knit room, but you can squeeze it in if you wanted to, but it will be pretty tight. So we've got the old slug, which gives a 2% learning power boost. We've got the tasting station, which gives a 4% learning power boost. And the slug station which gives a plus 6%. So all in all, actually, it's not bad. All items give a bit of a boost to the room, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that gives that slug a lovely little rub what well on slug okay and next on the list we have the this living room so again this is a five by four minimum room the only requirement you've got is this kind of giant living machine social simulator i should call it i do like this room it's got a very nice kind of like a good mechanical vibe to it as you can see by the floor so the extra items we put in this room so we've got the space goo, which gives a plus six learning power. That's got some goo in there, isn't it? We've got a very weird looking computer, which looks like kind of Stargate kind of symbols, maybe on the screen. If I can actually click on the thing. And it gives a, so the alien desk gives a 4% learning power boost. Definitely Stargate. And then finally, we've got the house plant display, which gives a 2% plus learning. So all in all, again, a nice little room, what we can kind of fit in which I think actually looks really good. So moving on to our final course, here is our Rocket Lab. So again, the Rocket Lab on this time is an outdoor room. The minimum requirements for the Rocket Lab, if we find it, there it is, is five by four. And again, the minimum we actually do need to put in is the rocket itself. It was a quite, again, a bit of a squeeze keeping it at five by four, but as it's outdoors, you could probably make it, you know, have a lot more space for it. So with this, we've got a couple again, additional couple of things for this room. We've got a moon on a stick, which gives you a plus 4% learning power boost. We've got a no trespassing sign, which gives you a plus 2% learning power boost. The pyro cycle, plus 6%, kind of like an exercise wheel on steroids, isn't it? And that's it for that room. So again, not much really on there. You might have just seen at the bottom right that we get a bonus now for Cheesy Heap. Now that is what they're extracting within this item itself. So they can extract extra kind of uh, monies and XP, which is also fantastic. A ball of hog logs in the morning. It's true what they say in the advert. There just wasn't enough pig in my morning. This next song is for the Hog Log Lady. So that is a brief overview of the actual new rooms. But what we'll do now is let's have a look at the new items. So the first one 
is our new club, which is the Time Tourism Club. So you can see the benefits of this club is taking an exciting mini break through time to keep things fresh. Now, did you just join the club? Let's have a look. So you're taking part in the club. And so they've got a buff which is beam up, so they can be teleported. Ooh, that sounds pretty awesome. Can they be teleported anywhere? I'm not sure. We'll have to, you have to let me know. If you know the answer, throw it in the comments for everyone else. But as we're looking at the other outdoor, outdoor items, we've got also this, so the clock of time. So you can see it's for item for members level one to three. And we've also got this kind of, I can't even pronounce that, Vestivir. And this is for, so for people who's level seven to 10. So again, looks like a step into time with that one. We've also got the Dolores, that is blatantly the Dolores time tourism ride. So that's level for four to six. That looks pretty awesome on its own, doesn't it? Right, so that is those items. Now let's move on and look at the other items, what you get within the DLC. So you get these massive signs. Well, you if anyone knows what that says, things. if you could work it out, let me know. For sneaky getaway. You've got this you planetarium, which gives a bit of entertainment mirrors. and attractiveness, or which is also fantastic. The and then you've got these quite large objects lunch. again from outside. So we've got a changing booth. We've also got this cosmic power wash, which someone is about to use. Look at that. Getting all cleaned up. What are you gonna do with your head? You're gonna be your neck's gonna be stretched. Fantastic. Do you get a buff from that? So on suite you use their own toilet. Nice. Nice. So other items we got for outside, let's have a look. So we've got this little kind of teleportation pad. Okay, so that, you know what? I've just probably realised that is probably fitting quite nicely into the teleport kind of the time travel tab. Time a bit of a tongue twister the time travel club because if you can have maximum 10 on campus that means you and those guys can be teleported you could probably put these situated around campus to make it more appealing to make them quickly go from one place to another i can see that being really useful so some of the other items we've got so we've got a lovely telescope which gives us a bit of entertainment I do love the amount of detail the devs have put into all of this. It's absolutely amazing. So we've got a biodome. Oh, you're you're an alien. Hello. Oh, nice. You're um, smelling a plant, I think. So which is the one-eyed snake plant. Don't look at it too long. It might suck you into it. We've got the moon shrub. And we've got the cheese. Uh, what was that? The space cheese plant. So all three new items for outdoor Kind of decoration to your heart's consent. The final thing, again, this is just for looking nice, is a space vault. So there we go. So that is all the outdoor items. But there is a heap of things inside as well, so let me show you. So we've got a couple of new benches and seats. We've also got a travel plant, which gives us a bit more attractiveness. Looks like a plant in a, in a suit of protection. I'm assuming oxygen's probably in there. We've got some lovely new plants here. So we've got again, three new plants. Chomp plant. And we have also got the critter statue, which gives you a bit of entertainment. I'm not sure what kind of entertainment you're gonna have with the critter statue, but it does. Now we're getting onto the favorite bits. We've got a hologram table, which gives you also a bit of an entertainment. You've got flight simulator, which was, and it still is an incredible game. What a game that is. If I could have a setup like that, I'd be so happy with myself. And finally, I think this is kind of like noughts and crosses, I would assume. It looks kind of that way. I haven't seen anyone use it yet, but it kind of looks like a noughts and crosses vibe. And if we move finally onto kind of the new pictures for you got for decorations, let me just slowly go through these. So we've got the gravity poster, which yeah, it, it looks like an apple is falling from the tree we've got our pet slug looks pretty cool we've got some different objects on a plate or going around in a circle i think we've also got someone who needs you to enroll so you could put that i don't know you could probably put that anywhere near your time travel club and say you need to enroll in this club 
We've also got a beam me up with a cow. That's pretty cool. That could go quite nicely anywhere, really. We've got cats, which looking like they're getting chubbier as time goes on. Oh, who doesn't love a chubby cat? We wrap up here. Space rockets. Again, that could go anywhere, really. That could go towards your command center, maybe. We've also got a duck traveling through time or space time continuum. We've got a rocket. Good old standard rocket. Good logo. And finally, we've got this, which is a, a an astronomical spider, which gives you a bit of entertainment. So there we go. So that is all pretty much the new items within the game itself now I've just thought as we're actually on here as well and it looks like they're learning I thought I might as well just show it to you so let's have a look so he goes down and goes into a dome and learns all about us humans and how to get an A plus by the looks of things okay then you come up here you go through a machine which is going to shake you about. And you come out the other side. Congratulations, aliens. You've, um, you're learning about humans. Fantastic. So, guys, that is all of the clubs as a very quick overview of them and what to expect within the DLC. I hope you have really enjoyed this. And if you have, we have got a playlist currently of... Two Point Campus on our channel so make sure you come and check it out but anyway I hope you have enjoyed this if you have please remember to like this video comment what are you enjoying about the new DLC you know what have you got to grips with what are you not sure about what are your tips within this new DLC what works well for you let me know and let the community know as well and hopefully we will see you on the next episode bye for now